Hey children, here are six body parts you don't actually need. Number six, your useless tiny tail. Imagine if humans still had tails, like actual wagging tails. You'd be at the airport, someone cuts in line, and you don't even say anything. Your tail just starts twitching with rage. Well, we used to have them. That little bony bump at the end of your spine? That's your coccyx, also known as the tailbone. It's the last trace of the tails our primate ancestors once used for balance and climbing trees. Nowadays, it's just there. No wagging, no swinging from branches, just a fragile little bone that loves to hurt when you fall on your butt. Ironically, the one time you notice your tailbone is when it decides to ruin your week. Sit down too hard on a wooden bench? Congratulations, you've just unlocked tailbone pain, one of evolution's cruelest jokes. So, why is it still there? Technically, it anchors some muscles and ligaments. But could we live without it? 100%. Number 5. Your wisdom teeth. You ever have a tooth grow and just to get yanked right back out? Yeah, that's the wisdom tooth experience. Back in the day, like caveman, woolly mammoth chewing days, our ancestors needed these extra molars to grind down tough roots, raw meat, and leaves. Their jaws were bigger, their meals were harder, and dental care? Non-existent. But fast forward to now, we've got blenders, soft diets, and orthodontists. Our jaws have actually shrunk over time, which means by the time wisdom teeth try to move in, there's no room at the inn. So, they crash into your other teeth like a drunk guest at a wedding, causing swelling, pain, and an emergency trip to the oral surgeon. Some people are lucky. They never get them. Others get all four like a surprise party from evolution. But we don't need them at all. They don't help you chew better. They don't improve your bite. They're just there. Like a reminder that evolution sometimes forgets to hit delete. Number four, body hair. Let's be honest, body hair is having an identity crisis. Once upon a time, it was your built-in thermostat. Before clothes, before heated rooms, before that puffer jacket you wear in 17 degrees Celsius weather, body hair kept you warm, protected your skin, and even helped detect tiny movements. But today, you've got climate control, jackets, and mosquito spray. And your body hair? Mostly just something you shave, wax, or awkwardly ignore. Sure, eyebrows and eyelashes still do their job, catching sweat, blocking dust, and making you look good. But chest hair, back hair, arm fuzz, not exactly essential for survival. In fact, scientists believe we're slowly evolving toward less body hair. Some people already have way less than others. It's like nature's running a quiet A-B test to see what sticks. So yeah, your body's clinging to its caveman past. Number three, the extra muscle you might not even have. Okay, do this real quick. Touch your pinky to your thumb and flex your wrist. See a long tendon pop up in the middle of your forearm? If yes, congrats, you've got the palmaris longus. If not, congrats again. You're just as functional without it. This slender little muscle runs from your elbow to your palm. But here's the twist. Around 10 to 15% of people don't even have it in one or both arms. And the wild part? It changes absolutely nothing. You can grip, lift, type, fight, fist bump, everything. Just fine without it. In fact, surgeons often harvest this muscle for reconstructive surgery because removing it doesn't affect strength or mobility. It's a leftover from our evolutionary past when our ancestors needed stronger grips for tree swinging or climbing. These days, the only thing you're climbing is out of bed, and the palmaris longus is, well, retired. So, if you've got it, great. If not, you're one step closer to being a streamlined modern human. Number two, goosebumps. You ever catch a chill and suddenly your arms look like a chicken ready for the oven? That's your body flashing back to a time when survival meant puffing up your fur like a startled cat. Goosebumps are triggered by tiny muscles at the base of each hair follicle called erector pili. Back in the day, when we were a lot hairier, these muscles would raise our body hair to trap heat or make us look bigger when threatened. Basically, built-in defense mechanism. But now, they're firing off like an outdated software update. You get scared, goosebumps. Hear a nostalgic song? goosebumps. The weird part? Your body still does it even though you barely have fur left. It's like your skin's trying to flex with no muscles to show off. A leftover reflex, cool to experience, but completely useless in modern life. Number one, male nipples. Ever wondered why men have nipples? Like seriously, no milk, no feeding, no real use. And yet, there they are, just chilling on your chest, doing absolutely nothing. Here's the backstory. 
All human embryos start out with the same basic blueprint, female by default. Nipples begin forming before the Y chromosome even kicks in to say, hey, we're building a male here. By that point, the nipples are already installed, like default settings you never changed. So, why not just get rid of them over time? Well, evolution doesn't really work like an interior designer. If something's not hurting survival or reproduction, it just kind of sticks around. Male nipples are like an old app on your phone you never open but don't delete either. Fun fact, they can technically produce milk under extreme hormonal shifts, but let's not try that at home. They're harmless, mostly useless, and biologically funny, but that's evolution for you. If you want to watch more video like this, subscribe to my channel. See you.